Candace Owens may have proved that Barack Obama is in fact not an American citizen and that his birth certificate was forged by a woman in Hawaii who mysteriously passed away in a plane crash. Okay, this one right here, I think this is very important considering that that today is the day to vote, okay? Um, let's go ahead and hop into this video watching and react to it. Before we do, do me a quick favor. Hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm so that this video can reach more people like yourself. I truly appreciate you guys. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and tap that subscribe button. And let's hop into this video right now. Arizona opened a case looking into the copy that Ms. Loretta provided because they suspected that they were looking at a direct forgery of a birth certificate. There was a birth certificate that belonged to someone in Hawaii named Johanna Ani. And they felt certain that Barry's birth certificate was copy and pasted. So they sent the two certificates out to two different digital document experts that were completely unknown to each other in upon different continents. So you got two experts on different continents taking a look into this document and they looked into this for years and they both came back. Both of these experts came back with the same conclusion. Obama's birth certificate was a forgery. So the Maricopa Sheriff's Office hosted a press conference to reveal these findings. And this is the video that they revealed to the public in that press conference. Take a listen. Okay, so real quick, just so everyone's caught up, this lady Loretta is the woman who sent over and approved these birth certificates as to being the birth certificates for Barack Obama. Okay, this is the same lady who mysteriously died in a plane crash in 2013. Once all of this information started coming up about it potentially being false. Okay. And now we're about to look at these birth certificates and how the people, the two people that she claimed from different continents looked into it. Now we're going to look into what they found. Okay. Let's, let's check that out. You are looking at two long form birth certificates from the state of Hawaii. According to the dates on the certificates, these births took place in Honolulu during the month of August in 1961, just 16 days apart. The birth certificate on the left belongs to Barack Obama. The birth certificate on the right belongs to Johanna Ani. After five years of intense investigation, which included consultation with one of America's most respected forensic document examiners and a team of European media forensic experts, the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office has reached a conclusion utilizing forensic techniques both old and new. It is the opinion of the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office that the birth certificate on your right belonging to Johanna Ani was in fact used as a source document in the digital creation of Barack Obama's long-form birth certificate. Nine points of forgery in which words, letters, and hand-placed date stamps have been digitally copied from the Ani long-form birth certificate and pasted onto Obama's long-form birth certificate. We'll look at the first five points of forgery together, since they were brought over from the Ani document in one group. Ask yourself, what are the odds that two stamps in two separate boxes, stamped by hand 16 days apart, would have the exact same angle in box 20 and the exact same angle in box 22? First, we'll look at the left stamp. Now the right stamp. It should be pointed out that these stamps were looked at by two separate document examiners who specialize in two separate forensic disciplines and who reside on two different continents. Both agreed that these angles are identical on both the Obama document and the Ani document. That right there is spooky. That is spooky. Okay, they're, they're pretty much saying that these hand-stamped dates fit perfectly on Barack Obama's birth certificate from the birth certificate of this lady that was actually born in Hawaii. And so pretty much what they're saying is that Loretta took this birth certificate and copied and pasted information from this one onto Barack Obama's birth certificate. And if that's the case, that means he's not American. And if that's the case, that means they lied to us. And then 
it even brings more pressure onto the Democratic Party. Because how is this possible that you can lie and get somebody into the presidential seat that's not an American citizen? And then that even leads to even more questions, specifically about Kamala and Joe Biden and that whole situation. What if this whole thing, and I'm not a a conspiracy theorist or anything like that, but what if this whole thing was planned out? What if this whole thing was planned out? What if there's some kind of, there's something that they want to get across, they need specific people to do it, and I don't know, man. This is just weird. It's spooky, okay? Let's, let's hear what Candace has to say about this. Let's hear this. Well, you can imagine that that's a bit scandalous, and it's interesting the mainstream media did not want to cover that. Again, this was coming from the sheriff's office, and they had sent this out to experts to take a look at this. And I also want to remind you that at this time, people were using typewriters, So it's not like when you're just typing the way that we do on a computer, these are typewriters. So for things to line up in that way, yeah, it's a bit suspicious. And you can only imagine that the one person who would be able to come out and respond to this properly to say, hey, no, 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 this was not something that was done or recreated or something that was copy and pasted would be Loretta. She's the one that certified it, Loretta from the Hawaiian Health Department. But unfortunately, Loretta died. She wasn't able to do that because she died in a rather mysterious plane crash in December of 2013, uh, just pretty much a year and a half after she had issued that birth certificate. She was on a plane in Hawaii with eight passengers, but all the other passengers miraculously survived the crash. After an investigation, it was determined that her seat had accidentally been given an infant life vest. And on that plane, those eight seats, only two of the passengers had been accidentally given an infant life vest. And of the two passengers, her luck was even worse than that uh, because it turns out that hers was the only vest that had a, a malfunctioning inflation. So those CO2 inflation candors that are inside uh, hers had one that was punctured and it was empty. So it was just bad luck, bad luck. The good thing, though, is that she didn't drown. Apparently, this was a plane crash that I guess you could say was relatively minor. There was no explosion. She was just floating in the ocean as everyone else was waiting to be rescued. But then she died of an irregular heartbeat, which was triggered by the excitement of the event. Officially, her death was attributed to an irregular heartbeat. There's no way. As she was waiting to be rescued. And her family members spoke out and said she never had anxious. She had anxiety issues. Never. She was always very calm. So this seemed unusual to them. These things happen. These things do happen. Anyways, I'm therefore always a bit apprehensive. Okay, so so you mean to tell us that that this lady who signed off on Barack Obama's birth certificate got into a mysterious plane crash that no one's heard about, but the plane didn't explode, and she, along with one other person, received faulty life vests, but hers just so happened to be um, have some some wrong canister on it. And she didn't die from that. But she died from an irregular heartbeat. That, if, if I've ever heard of a fishy story, that right there tops it. Now, now, I think this is particularly important because with this election, we have to understand who, who's against us, who's telling real lies, and who's making lies about somebody to make them seem worse than they are. Um... If all of this turns out to be true, right, and and they they actually lied about Obama being president, doesn't it make more sense now when Trump says that the Democrats were fiddling with the votes and stuff like that, right? It makes much more sense. It's more believable if this is true. It's much more believable. And I, look, I am not a diehard Trump fan. I am not a... Uh, a pure Trump supporter. I follow what I believe is right. And I follow what lines up with the Bible and what seems to be the most ethical and, and the most moral decision to make. And in my opinion, especially after hearing this, it seems like the Republican vote is, is the best vote. This is crazy. I am not trying to tell you guys who to vote for or choose. That's your own decision. But this right here has to be taken into 
thought. Like this hat before you vote, this right here needs to be thought about. You need to make the right decision. Look, man, at this point, we we got to protect Candace Owens like with everything that we got because she has been doing nothing but exposing not just Democrats in, in that whole field. She's been exposing everybody who's done something corrupt. She's been doing this. And I think it's about time that we start giving her her flowers and protecting her because she's doing good work for not only, um, you know, America, but the world. Like, she's doing really good work out here. We got to protect her. She seems like one of the few people that that put out unbiased, um, uncensored information. Okay? So, let's protect her. Let's pray for her protection and her strength. Um, yeah, man, this is crazy. I seen this and I'm like, yo, this right here is spooky. There's more to things that we don't know. Okay? This is wild. Let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section, okay? If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button and hit the post notification bell so you do not miss another video. My name is Aaron Page. I'll catch y'all on the next video. Until next time, I'm out.